नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम फोर्थ कैंटो चैप्टर थर्टीन टेक्स्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव मैत्रेय उवाच अंगोश्वेदम राजर्षि आजहार महाक्रतु नाजग्मूर्देवतास्तस्मिन् आहूता ब्रह्मवादिभि translation and purport by his divine grace ac bhakti vedant swam shila prabhu pat shri maitra replied my dear vidura once the great king anga arranged to perform the great sacrifice known as ashwamedha all the expert brahmanas present knew how to invite the demigods but in spite of their efforts no demigods participated or appeared in that sacrifice purport A Vedic sacrifice is not an ordinary performance. The demigods used to participate in such sacrifices. The animals sacrificed in such performances were reincarnated with a new life. In this age of kali, there is there are no powerful brahmanas who can invite the demigods or give renewed life to animals. formerly the brahmanas well conversant in vedic mantras could show the potency of the mantras but in this age because there are no such brahmanas all sacrifice all such sacrifices are forbidden the sacrifice in which the horses were offered was called ashwamedha sometimes cows were sacrificed gava lamba not for eating purposes but to give them new life in order to show the potency of the mantra in this age therefore the only practical yajna is sankirtan yajna or chanting of the hari krishna mantra 24 hours a day the sense the bhakti vedanta purport so it was it, it was the custom of the kings great kings to perform vedic sacrifices largely for the benefit of the subjects of his kingdom so vedic sacrifices means all the devatas are invited it is like a global homa global yajna especially yajnas like ashwamedha yajna only a king can do it because it involves that kind of power within him to organize such a great sacrifice as ashwamedha yajna as propa explains that these sacrifices of horses sacrifice of even cow bull not for eating purposes but it was meant for giving new life and to show to the population the power of the mantras to the common man and of course all sankirtana all yajnas when performed according to the vedic injunctions it amounts to invoking the mercy of lord vishnu who is also called yajna he is actually the receiver of all the yajnas buktaram yajna tapasam sarva loka maheshwaram the supreme lord by pleasing the supreme lord who is everywhere and who is a giver of all the results of all efforts of every living entity 
and he is the giver of the result of the efforts of a yajna any great sacrifice like this every sacrifice has a purpose there is a goal to achieve through that purpose so that purpose is achieved the giver of that result is vishnu the supreme personality of godhead so these are all various kinds of uh, ways of yajna or sacrifice prescribed in different yugas by the scriptures satya yuga the way of pleasing yajna or pleasing the supreme lord vishnu was by meditation then treta yuga was by performing this kind of ashwamedha yajnas dwapara yuga was offering all kinds of paraphernalia for the pleasure of the archa vigraha of the lord archana and in kali yuga the process is sankirtana chanting of the holy names of the lord that's yuga dharma so whenever we perform yuga dharma there is prosperity material prosperity also material prosperity and spiritual elevation this is for different living entities in this material world who want to enjoy the material life for them different kinds of yajnas are prescribed of course it is finally for the pleasure of vishnu therefore they make spiritual advancement also so in kali yuga even for the people even for their material prosperity also for the prosperity of the world also sankirtana chanting the holy names of the lord is a yuga dharma it brings material auspiciousness also to this world apart from the transcendental effects of the sankirtana so we perform sankirtana for the pleasure of the supreme lord as well as for the welfare of the world therefore shila prabhupad says that the sankirtana is the most is a highest welfare activity for the entire population imagine ashwamedha yajna and all how much effort is required as described in the shastras and various other types of sacrifices all that result one gets what you cannot get by thousand ashwamedha yajna that result of the pleasing the supreme lord by one morning program here this is the this is the power of sankirtana so actually our preaching krishna consciousness is so wonderful and designed so nicely by shila prabhupad even materially speaking everything is in abundance for the devotees to preach krishna consciousness because the giver of everything is the supreme lord 
the provider of everyone provided to everyone karmis as well as devotees is the all pervading lord it is not that people simply you know in the modern world people think that man works hard so he gets his results that itself is such a false thing that so many people are working hard they are not getting results direct evidence is there and so many people are not working hard they get a wonderful results so it is all based on the sanction of the lord as per their past karma so achievement in this world is not based on one's material struggle karma ne vaadi kharaste you have a right to act adhikara karma ne adhikaraste you got the adhikara to do your karma that means you have the adhikara to act but the giver of result of your actions every living entity desires something that desire is either fulfilled not fulfilled material life is full of that spiritual life also is full of that because we also doubt tail everything in service of the lord so constantly we are having desires and we are chasing those desires materialists are chasing their material desires we are chasing our desire to please the spiritual master we are chasing our desire to please krishna by our chanting please krishna by engaging in devotional service of different kinds so we are also desiring if you see the whole existence the whole world is living and living entities carrying different desires chasing different desires fulfilling or not fulfilling those desires that constitutes the world and the key personality in all this is the supreme lord seated in the heart and he sanctions the results of every living entity so such a person is always peaceful just executes his duties he lives by the will of the lord so coming back to the sankirtana here the only practical yajna is sankirtana yajna chanting of hari krishna mantra 24 hours a day so this was very practically demonstrated preached by the incarnation lord himself coming as sri chaitanya mahaprabhu the point to be understood is generally we tend to think that something is very complicated then the result is something very great is a conditioning us we simply say that you had sankirtana in the temple hall today morning it is equal to 100 ashwamedha yajnas eh <laughs> ना इजीली हमने कर दिया संकीर्तन वी जस्ट चैंटेड एंड डांस्ड द पॉइंट इज नॉट आवर एफर्ट द पॉइंट इज व्हाट द शास्त्र सेस व्हाट प्लीजेस द लॉर्ड वी आर डूइंग द राइट थिंग टू प्लीज द लॉर्ड एंड दैट इज हाउ दिस होल कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस मूवमेंट इवन फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ एंगल ऑफ ऑफ material requirements all keeps coming never any shortage it is very important to understand this know this and realize this when we are in the temple then how these things are all happening without any shortage this is the truth that the lord provides it is the sankirtana
I always tell the devotees. Earlier also, several times I have told this. You stop sankirtan in the temple hall. You stop your japa sessions. There won't be no more temple. Every mind would go crazy. Every mind will go in different direction. This organization itself won't exist. See, this is a, Prabhupada's movement is a is a practical demonstration of how the Lord provides everything. Similarly, Yuga Dharma. If people in their homes, it may look very simple. If the husband, wife, children sit together and do sankirtan. 15 minutes sankirtana some means together kirtana means glorifying the lord and the greatest glorification is glorification of his holy name because he is incarnates into the sound so if krishna comes before us Visually, Pratyaksha. How we will react? Prabhupada explains in the same way, with great respect and reverence, one should receive the sound, Golokaira, Premadana, Harinama, Sankirtana, the sound that is descending from the spiritual world should be received with kartals, mridanga, dancing, an occasion of great celebration. What is the celebration? Lord is incarnating in our midst. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. The holy name is non different from the Lord Himself. As soon as one chants, the Lord is appearing there. Very merciful in this age of Kali. Normally, people, living entities in the material world, don't get access to the Lord because they're 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 destined to be in this material world because of their forgetfulness of Krishna or because of their wanting to enjoy independent of God. Therefore, in such places, why the Lord should come? As Prabhupada says, to, to set right the adharma in this world, Krishna can sit in this, be in the spiritual world and, and finish all the asuras. But he comes for his devotees for loving pastimes with his devotees. And he is more than anxious to appear where his devotees chant to glorify his name. So the secret of this Krishna consciousness movement, the secret for the growth of this Krishna consciousness movement is to do Sankirtana for the pleasure of the Lord. That is very important, for the pleasure of the Lord. Sankirtana is not like, oh, a kind of musical performance will bring all auspiciousness. No, it's not a musical performance. It is a yajna. It is meant to please the Lord. So in that spirit, we chant the holy name of the Lord through the process of Sankirtana. How we achieve things in this material world? 
No materialist always think in terms of big, big endeavors. You do big endeavor and then big results are achieved. No, the Lord wills even small endeavor is enough for big things to achieve. Prabhupada says, Krishna's mercy is everywhere. Just like sunlight is there everywhere. Lord's presence is there everywhere. But how can we invoke the Lord's presence? Then we benefit by that association. According to one's capacity to invoke the Lord's presence, one gets association. Just like according to your capacity or according to your uh, kind of faith and japa, you get different kinds of, different, different levels of association with Krishna. Krishna and his name is non-different. Abhinnatva nama nama no. They are non-different. So even though non-different, my struggle in life should be to learn how to get more and more effective association from the ever willing Lord to give association. The whole endeavor of the devotee should be to how to offenselessly do my chanting. How to remain free from sinful activities because sinful activities cover me. Sinful activity means immediately material covering. Material covering means covering Krishna. When you cover Krishna, then you chant Hare Krishna, then Krishna is on your tongue, but you cannot receive that association. It may look like dry chanting, nothing is happening, I have no taste, I have no desire to chant more. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left Shishtashtaka glorifying the Sankirtana Cheto Darpana Marjanam Bhava Maha Davagni Nirvapanam Shreya Kairava Chantrika Vidranam Vidha Vidya Vadu Jeevanam Cheto Darpana Marjanam It cleanses the heart the sound. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Lord has incarnated as a Shabda. The Shabda should go into our ears. Oral reception of the Nama Avatara will go into the heart and will cleanse our heart of all the covering that is there between the Nama and the soul. Just like give example, rubber gloves and heater. You hold on to the heater, hot plate. Slowly the rubber will melt. So in the same way, the Lord has incarnated. Between the incarnated Lord, Hare Krishna, Mahamantra, the Divya Shabda, Nama Prabhu, the holy names are the are personified Nama Prabhu. Nama Prabhu sounding as sound or coming as sound. So that we can receive with our ears repeatedly. Through one of the sense perceptions. Just like deity through sense of 
you know, sight and serving activities. The same way this chanting and hearing, activity of chanting and hearing is receiving the avatara. So, Cheto Darpanam Arjanam is cleansing the heart of all anarthas. And what will you experience? Mahadavagni Nirvapanam. The blazing fire of material existence is extinguished. And what is a blazing fire of material existence? Janma Mityu Jarabhyadi. Birth, death, old age, disease. It's extinguished. Because we are the one who creates. There is a contamination in our heart, which is what creates birth, death, old age, disease. Our subtle body is what creates our continued existence in this material world. So this sound has the power to go and melt this subtle body. Cheto darpanam ajanam mahadavagni nirvapanam shreya kairava chantrika spreads all kinds of benedictions. The most merciful holy name, when it makes its appearance, in every more and more places, this sound, you, you manifest this sound. Let people chant and bring forth this sound into this world. Shreya Kairava Chantrika Vitaranam First it burns, Mahadavagni Nirvapanam. It extinguishes the fire. After extinguishing the fire, the cool, benedictive rays, moon-like rays, shined on the society, on the community. Shreya Kairava Chantrika Vidya Vadu Jeevanam Vidya Transcendental knowledge manifests in the heart of everyone who chants and hears this sound. And what is the highest vidya? What is the highest avidya? I am this body. My existence is this material existence. And what is Vidya? I am eternal servant of Krishna. I am Brahmasmi. I am Brahmasmi. I am not this body. This Shakti, Vidya Shakti, also comes into the heart of the chanter. Anandam Buddhi Vardhanam Pradipata Purnamrta Swadhanam Anandam Abuddhi Vardhanam Abuddhi Ocean of without shores Every ocean in the material world has a shore Abuddhi No ocean without shores That kind of Ananda Anandam Abuddhi Vardhanam Pradipada Purnamrta Swadhanam Every stage of it is full of taste. Param Vijayate is Krishna Sankirtana. That's all. World, they say what is required for this world. We have to change the world. We have to, everybody is suffering. We have to do this. Nothing will work. Sankirtana will work. You pour water in the root of the tree, water goes everywhere. This simple formula, people cannot believe it. Take our own small cosmos, a temple of Prabhupada. We are proving that every day. We are proving that every day. It is not that somebody is sitting here and is controlling morning to evening, you know, next month where money will come from, next month what this will come then. Not, a, not at all. We are just doing our duty. Karmanine vadikaraste. And our prescribed duty is devotional service to Srila Prabhupada. 
We are doing that. Initially, we, one comes from the material world, one tends to think like that. Because in the material world, everything is a struggle, material struggle. I remember in the beginning of, when I just, I was fresh, I always used to wonder, you know, how money is coming for preaching. Because when you come into this material, when you, when you, when you come out from the material world, in the material world everything is money. You have to earn. Nobody gives you money also. You have to earn the material world. This is a conditioning that we have and that is the nature of the material world also. So I used to think, okay, how the temple will run? When there's no, see, if you're salaried people, you know, oh, okay, I got a good government job. Salary will keep on coming, so I am stable. But you come to Krishna Consciousness movement, you see how the temples are run. In the beginning, the west of Cod Road, our small building was there. Suddenly, I found myself being in charge. And I was just uh, two, three years in the movement. And already I had experienced in Trivandrum. Kerala is a place where actually people have no concept of donating at all. It's a, it's a, it's a state like that. <laughs> Nobody gives anything. And there the temple was running. Nobody was working. As Prabhupada says, we are not working outside. Not only not, ten small books of Malayalam were printed by donations from there. From local. So what were we doing? Everywhere, what are we doing? What are we doing today? What did we do then? What did we always do? Nothing. Get up from Mangalarti. Go for Mangalarti, do your japa, then something and all you do <laughs> during, during the day. <laughs> Tell me who is so organized that you know, just like Karmis have big planners, one month planner, one week planner, nothing we have. Actually, all the things don't work. What really works is. As Prabhupada says, chant 24 hours, Hare Krishna, you'll, you'll, what you're doing will be what Krishna wants. Because Matasmitri Jnana Mapohanam Cha, he's seated in the heart and he'll be pushing. And everything will be happening. So everything happens by Yajna. This is very important that you have to understand. We are not fruitive thinkers. Even fruitive people with, who are karmis, for them also Vedic code is given to perform yajna, different yajnas. The whole karma, papa and punya Punya means you are pleasing the Lord for common people. The Lord is there for everyone. Everyone follows my path, Krishna says. Whether it is karmis or according to their desire to associate with Him. Entire existence is the Lord and the relationship with His creation. Material energy also is not without the Lord. 
Lord is relating with this creation for his own purposes. Meaning of existence is Krishna, Ananda Maya Abhyasa. So associate with the Lord, serve the Lord, do our duty, and then it's left to the Supreme Lord. What inspiration to give within our heart today? What you should do? What you should not do? That is a way to exist in this material world mystically. In you applying the principles of surrender throughout the day apply the principles of surrender chant hari krishna read prabhupada's books apply prabhupada's books we come out of the old world of achieving 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 nothing forget it without we wanting to achieve we will achieve if the will of the lord is there we should surrender to his will guru and krishna knows how to dovetail my karmic tendencies in devotional service so in west of corridor suddenly i happened to be in charge and then i month after month my own mind is working how will, how will this temple run need a 25000 a month rent this thing this thing everything 20000 25000 those days so i got slowly trained by the lord to stop thinking about it next month will it happen next month will happen initially it's like this oh it happened again next month will it happen whether rent will come this will happen for boga this thing everything petrol where the money will come for telephone again it happened again you are not believing will it happen next time next month like that thinking thinking thing one year two year three year condition ho gaya to aayega hi something that we do not know how it is working but there is a system that is working what is that system sankirtana so to spread krishna consciousness to open centers and flourish in preaching krishna consciousness one should know the secret is this for little effort you will get big results any questions mike ah uh, hari krishna so uh while working for the results sometimes uh, devotees may tend to absolve themselves from all responsibilities thinking that the holy name may take care the duties whatever to be done he may not do in the holy name may take care because he is executing the duty of sadhana well so how to get over this mentality from this what about that is also duty no sadhana and then you do your duty be lazy about result don't worry that is krishna's work my work is not result my work is karmane va adhikaraste my adhikara is to work but you have to work that's krishna told no that is misapplication of the philosophy if you are not working your duty you have to do each of us find ourselves in a situation where we have a duty that duty we have to execute unnecessary too much anxiety about the result outcome should not be there too much anxiety we should have the outcome in our mind 
Otherwise, we would not know how to work. You're going out and, yes, I want outcome collection. But one should not get attached to that it will come. That is will of the Lord. I want to come. I want it to come. It should come. Ah, attachment. I work towards a goal. Constantly recognizing the giver of result is the Supreme Lord. So automatically anxiety goes. I am, I am, I am the producer of the result. That idea goes away. I am a worker. I am not the producer of the result. I am a servant of the master. The result is all master has planned. You do this, you do this, you do this, master says. Master has planned how the result will come, when it will come, why it should come, all that he has to decide. So one cannot simply do sadhana and say, I won't take any responsibility. You should take responsibility for your work. If you take high responsibility for your work, you need not take responsibility for the result. You understand? If you take high responsibility for the work, naturally that is the best result that can come out of it. <laughs> Why you have to worry? As far as work is concerned. As far as result, all result do not happen at the end of all work. You may work very diligently. You, for instance, you may study your examination very nicely, so meticulously, so hard, nicely, everything. But uh, you left out a few things to study. Only that questions come in the exam. <laughs> Only those questions you did not. Ninety percent, ten percent you left to study. Only all the questions are in that ten percent. Or all hundred percent you studied. Suddenly you fell sick. Huh? Or suddenly examination cancelled. So many factors are there. We have to do our duty. This is very important. We devotees also have to learn. It should not think I am in service of Krishna, so karmane vadikaraste is meant for karmis. That's in second chapter. That instruction is for them. For me, devotion service. Your karma is devotion service. You have a right to do your devotion service. Just like we have a right to fight, to have Srila Prabhupada as our spiritual master. Adhikara is there. You cannot stop us from our service to Srila Prabhupada as our direct spiritual master. So we are doing our fight. Adhikara is there. The result is in Krishna's hands. Any other question? हरे कृष्ण प्रभु प्रभु जैसा आपने बताया कि सेक्रीफाइस में जब एनिमल को सेक्रीफाइस किया जाता है तो उसको न्यू बॉडी दी जाती है तो उसको न्यू बॉडी हायर स्पीसीज में मिलती है या फिर उसी स्पीसीज में मिलती है न्यू जो उसको एनिमल को न्यू बॉडी दी जाती है तो वो हायर स्पीसीज में मिलती है उसी स्पीसीज में मिलती है और क्या उसको शुरुआत से मिलती है या फिर डायरेक्ट यंग बॉडी मिलती है नहीं उसको नया शरीर मिलता है ह्यूमन शरीर मिलता है एनिमल से ह्यूमन शरीर मिलने ना प्रमोशन है तो अच्छा सिचुएशन में जाता है व्हेन द एनिमल्स आर सैक्रिफाइस दे गेट अ ह्यूमन फॉर्म ऑफ लाइफ सो ये प्रभु उसी समय उसी जगह होता है या फिर जहाँ सेक्रीफाइस किया जाता है हाँ ये सब मंत्र शक्ति से होता है इसे एक जवान का लड़का हो जाता है उधर 
वो भी हो सकता है उसी प्लेस पे घोड़ा एक लड़का हो सकता है हमको क्या मालूम है ये दुनिया इतना कृष्णा की क्रिएशन इतना कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है नॉर्मल नॉर्मल बर्थ से ही बर्थ होता है करके कुछ नॉट रिक्वायर्ड नॉट रिक्वायर्ड सडनली यू कैन बी अ यंग बॉय दैट इज योर क्वेश्चन बहुत अद्भुत चेंज होता है प्रकृति में वो सब हमको मालूम नहीं है इनफैक्ट अश्वमेधा यज्ञ में से जो बैठ के देखता है ना उंग में दिखता है अरे गोड़ा ये सो गया क्या पवर है मंत्र का <laughs> गोड़ा गया अग्नि में एक लड़का आ गया और लड़की आ गया क्या मालूम नहीं <laughs> Hare Krishna. Any other questions? You might there. Uh, Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Uh, Prabhu, I met one elderly woman. Uh, she is a kind of a Mayavadi. So she is telling me that you know we should not uh, indiscriminately distribute Bhagavad Gita to anyone and everyone. Should not have uh? indiscriminately. distribute bhagavad gita to anyone and everyone this is kind of uh, disrespect to krishna or gita because they are not interested or uh, they are not devotees then i have told this example uh, where uh, a doctor in the us purchases a book and he goes to his hometown moscow somewhere where his son reads and he becomes a devotee and uh, he establishes a temple and many devotee uh, he makes many devotees and uh, my question is uh, could you please explain how better uh, this can be answered oh you can first thing is the person executes devotion service by buying the book and as you said if if they don't read it their children will read it somebody will read it all those who have read propas books are not people who are purchased directly i read propas books in the library i didn't purchased library purchased correct some devotee went and sold it to the library so then i read that and many devotees they not bought it it was there some their parents or something got it it was lying there they read it and they got into krishna consciousness so this examples they should give that krishna's krishna has his own plan how to reach bhagavad gita to his devotees and that even though somebody may not be ready to be a devotee now he gives some credit to him to buy and he goes and give it keeps it at home and his son or relative or somebody else will read and he becomes devotee so krishna had planned right from beginning to reach that bhagavad gita to that devotee he gave through this devotee through like this so krishna is in control because krishna says that he is seated in our heart and continuously monitoring our desire whether we are fed up of this material world whether we want to rejoin back with him and feel complete or not he is just waiting and he directs so again we have to keep on doing our duty to go on trying to reach propas books to as many living entities as possible why should we in okay whether he will buy or not whether he is he is got the qualification to read bhagavad gita or not all these are all concoctions concoctions krishna is waiting for everybody how we have all come to prabhupad because the lord in the heart guided us through various things it is not all accident these are not accidents ग्रंथराज श्रीमद्भागवत की जय जगद्गुरुशील प्रौपात की जय